It was a beautiful day on a beautiful island. Outside of a simple house on a hill, a woman stands under her family's tree, raking and cleaning. It's the only real exercise she can find to do while she stays at home. But today, she was extra tired, and she wasn't really sure why. Great job. You worked hard today. Take a rest. You earned it. Oh, yeah? Well, you know. Don't listen to him. He's trying to keep you from exercising. Take a small break and get out there and burn more calories. Okay, okay. Enough already. I'm so tired. Hey, Chish. Take it easy. It's yeah. very hot. Yeah. Okay. It's so hot. Ah! Oh my Trish spent the next day resting in her hospital bed, of course with her husband by her side. She woke up feeling a bit better. Yes, you have school? Yes, uh, this is uh, Paul Cruz. Yes. Uh, I'm calling to uh, inform you guys that, uh, that the mother is uh, in the hospital. She got admitted just now. I just want to, you know, pass on to the kids that their mom is uh, right now in the hospital. Yes. Thank you. Oh, Chris, I'm glad you're doing okay. You know, you really are worried. Mm. Sorry, I, I put you guys through this. Don't worry, you're going to be okay. Good morning, Trish. How Good. are you doing today? Good morning, doctor. I'm doing fine. Yes, you look much better today. I'd like to have a short meeting with you and your husband in my office. Okay. Your blood test is bad. It doesn't look good. You have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and you're overweight. Oh my lord. How often do you exercise, Trish? Does cleaning around the house count? 
Exercise can be any activities that gets your heart moving. For example, like uh, brisk walking. 30 minutes of brisk walking. Housework can also provide that, but you need to exercise five or more times each week. Okay, I heard exercise is important. Is that all I need to change? Trish, you're dealing with what we call NCDs. That means non-communicable disease. You can't get it from your friend or neighbor. It's a lifestyle disease. Please, doctor, just give me my medicine so I can go home. I'm tired. There's no cure for NCDs. If I were to give you something, this is what I'm going to give you. This is the FSM guidelines for healthy living. This will really help you. How am I going to eat that? That's not medicine. These are the FSM guidelines for healthy living. It's called Mud fat. Oh, oh God, I thought I was going to eat that whole banner. Mud fat means one diet fits all today. If one can follow this diet plan to live a healthier lifestyle. Doctor, this can't be right. It says I can only eat rice three times per week. Can you do that? Chris. And what about eggs? Bread too? Can we? Chris, honey, please. We sometimes eat canned meat once a day when we don't have money to buy fresh meat. Oh my God. Donuts? Ramen? Are limited to? All of these? I can only eat them once a month? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. These foods are high in fat, salt, and preservatives. That's why you are here today. Hmm, let's see. And so these are the food I can eat every day. They're so boring and so tasteless. How in the world can people eat these every day? Oh gosh, my evil conscience. Don't listen to the doctor. Eat whatever you want. What if you eat a little bit of rice, some spam with vegetables and local food? In that way, you have everything you need. What if I eat a little bit of everything? That's very good. I'm glad you mentioned uh, that portion. Sizes are important with the mod fat diet. Eat a variety of foods from the three food groups under everyday eating and aim for a recommended five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Thanks for your time, Doc, but do know that finding local food and cooking it every day is not easy. Look, Trish, you can find local food takeouts at the market for a dollar every day of the week and just about everywhere you go. It takes effort, and I'm sure you can sort it out if you wanna live a healthy life for your children. But there's still some important parts of the mod fat diet that you need to understand. Okay, I get it, but why so many rules? Okay, okay, just hold on. There are a few more things then you can go home. So everyone needs to remember to exercise, drink plenty of water. If you smoke or too bit a lot or drink alcohol, try your best to reduce your use and most importantly of all, relaxing and be, being part of the family are good for your health. Make sure you enjoy your time with your family and friends. Don't stress out. You're not perfect and no one is. Thank you, doctor. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll go now. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Oh, hey, I've got an idea. 
Let's take a ride to our spot by the ocean. That would be great. Good. All right, let's go. If you're worried about the kids adopting to this kind of lifestyle, don't worry. We can always sit down together and work something out. upstairs do your homework study and come back down later for dinner okay Bye. let's see what's for dinner I'm, I'm telling, telling you, you nothing, nothing beats rice and fried chicken, chicken. Whatever, whatever leave her alone, alone. Trish, take your time and decide carefully what would be best for you and your children. Not today, but tomorrow and the many days to come. <laughs> Her destiny is already decided. She can die today or tomorrow. That's why she needs to eat whatever she wants before she dies. Oh my goodness! You are so naive. That's why you're not liked by many. Trish, if I were you, I will so not listen to him. Cook what's healthy. Oh, hi. Rich. What's for dinner? Hello. I don't know. I'm thinking about cooking healthy food tonight. So I have uh, an idea. Grilled fish, crab salad, boiled breadfruit, and boiled banana. These foods are supposed to be healthy, and then I think they are, and they replaced frozen meat and canned meat. Okay, you know, kids are not going to like it, but you have no choice. I know. Yep. A while later, as Trish and her family are sitting down to eat their dinner, Trish can already see in her kids' eyes that they do not approve of the food. Oh my gosh, mom, what the heck is this food? Yeah, mom, why are we eating these kinds of food? Kids, kids, don't complain. Now your mom and I have decided to change the way we eat. And it's good for her health. You, you call this healthy? It looks ugly and disgusting. I totally agree. Hey Trish, let's see. You know, this is this food is good for you. Uh, I'll try one bite. Yeah, I guess I will too. Okay, I tried. I'm going to my room. Over the next few days, Trish tirelessly pushed herself to prepare healthy food. She didn't always have time to prepare good food, so she would buy local takeout sometimes. Her children really tried too. Sometimes they would take only two bites, and other times they would grab a whole breadfruit pancake on their way out the door for school. Things took time for them all to adjust, but eventually the children were satisfied each day 
with their food because they could choose a little bit of everything. You don't need to exercise, Trish. Sit around the house and eat all day and eat everything. Don't listen to him. Go on. Get dressed. Go do your exercise with Bianca. It's a good day to go walking. No, it's not. You sweat and you get tired. Ew, it's nasty. That's the whole point. She needs to exercise and burn more calories. She'll feel better afterwards. Shut up, you two. I'll go walking whether you like it or not. I feel like it. I do it all the time. Oh wait, we should go do some more tomorrow. <laughs> we can, but if I don't like it, I won't be coming with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a rest. Okay. <laughs> Trisha, you want to chew? <sighs> go ahead, chew. I'm trying to quit, you know. Really? How long have you been quitting? Two weeks. Not too long ago. It's been a while. I got sick. I went to see the doctor and the doctor told me to stop chewing. So I, I, I stopped chewing since then. Really? Well, yes, really. Well, one chew won't kill you. Good job. You're doing great. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hurry up so we can go back to our exercise. Okay. It seems to me that our healthy food problems are over. Great. Let's eat like we haven't had breakfast in 10,000 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dad, let's see who's going to finish the food on their plate. Let's compete. Okay. Since everyone did great eating mom's breakfast this morning, we have decided that after we go drop her off at her doctor's follow up, we're gonna go swimming. Oh. Oh. Well, let's get this over with so we can go. Hello Trish, I'm glad you can make it. Have a seat. Thank you, doctor. We will do the same blood test we did on your last visit. Okay, but can you please be nice? Well, how do you feel? You look great. Better, I guess. That's great. Did you follow the mud fat diet brochure I gave you? 
Yes, we did, although it wasn't easy for my family to make sudden changes. It's a, it was a baby step at first, and then maybe a, a, a leap in due time. That's great news, Trish. Let's do that blood test work then and see how we're doing. Okay, I hope it turns out great. Hey Trish, your blood test came back. It looks like you did follow the mud fat diet. You also lost 15 pounds in one month. Keep eating healthy and continue to exercise. It's the best remedy to healthy living. Thank you, doctor. My husband and I have decided to go swimming as part of our daily exercise. I will share them the good news. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you for listening. I hope other people can see the change and follow in your footsteps. Have a great day. Oh, hey, how did it go? We did it. The results are great. I have you guys to thank for, and I love you all for the great support. Yay, mom. You made it. Let's go swimming. Yeah, let's go, let's go swimming. Swimming! Mom, swimming is exercise too, right? Yes, son, it is. Let's see who's going to be the fastest swimmer. Yay, I'm racing! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Hey, yeah!